Hi students, let me welcome you all to the Schoolness YouTube channel. Today we are going to see book back answers for unit 4 cell biology for standard 7 term 2 under science subject. Let us go into the video. 1. Choose the correct answer. Basic unit of life A. Cell B. Protoplasm C. Cellulose and D. Nucleus. The right answer is cell. We have seen that cell is the basic unit of life in any organism. 2. I am the outermost layer of an animal cell. Whom am I? We have seen in the class that animal cell doesn't have a wall or cell wall. So therefore, cell membrane is the outermost layer of animal cell and C is the right answer. Which part of the cell is called the brain of the cell? A. Lysosome B. Ribosome C. Mitochondria and D. Nucleus Nucleus is considered as the brain of the cell. Choice D is the right answer. Dash helps in cell division. A. Endoplasmic reticulum B. Golgi complex C. Centriole and D. Nucleus Centriole is the right answer which helps in cell division. So choice C is the right answer. 5. Suitable term for the various components of cell is So various components that are found within the cell is uh, called cell organelle. Therefore, choice D is the right answer. Coming to question 2. Fill in the blanks. The jelly-like substance present in the gel is called cytosol. I convert the sun's energy into food for the plant. Who am I? We know the plants have the capacity to synthesize food using the chlorophyll in their plant part, using the sunlight and water and the air. So chloroplast is the part that is present in the plants which help in synthesis of food through a photosynthetic process. 3. Mature red blood cell do not contain dash. Mature red blood cell do not contain a nucleus. 4. Unicellular organisms can only be seen under a microscope. So unicellular organisms cannot be seen with the naked eye. So therefore they can be seen only through a microscope is the right answer. 5. Cytoplasm plus nucleoplasm is equal to protoplasma. Protoplasma is the right answer. Now coming to question 3. True or false? If false, give the correct answer. 1. Animal cells have a cell wall. We have seen in the lesson that animal cells don't possess a cell wall. Therefore, it is a false statement. Whereas plant cells only have cell wall and animal cells have only a cell membrane. 2. Salmonella is a unicellular bacteria. We have seen in the lesson that Salmonella is a disease causing bacteria. Therefore, the answer is true. 3. Cell membrane is fully permeable. This is a false statement because cell membranes are only selectively permeable. 4. Only plant cells have chloroplasts. Yeah, it's a true statement because the animal cells don't possess chloroplasts because they don't have the capacity to photosynthesize. 5. Human stomach is an organ. It is a true statement and ribosomes are small organelles with the membrane. This is a false statement because ribosomes are small organelles. That part is correct but they don't possess a membrane. Therefore, ribosomes are small organelles without a membrane. Now coming to question 4. Match the following. On the left hand side, there has been 5 statements and on the right hand side, they have given certain uh, examples. So, transporting channel is endoplasmic reticulum that functions as the transporting channel in the uh, cell. Cisidal back, what is called cisidal back is lysosome and control room. Nucleus is considered as the control room in any cell. Powerhouse. Mitochondria is seen as the powerhouse in a cell. And food producer. What helps the plants to produce food is chloroplast. Therefore, food producer, the chloroplast is the right pairing. So we have seen the pairing of all the five equivalents. Now coming to question five, analogy. Bacteria is to microorganism as Mango tree is to macroorganism. The dash is macroorganism. Adipose is an example of a tissue 
whereas I is an example of an organ. So organ is the right answer. Cell wall uh, is present in plant cell and centriole is present in animal cell. So animal cell is the right answer. Chloroplast helps in photosynthesis whereas mitochondria helps in respiration. Respiration is the right answer. Now coming to question 6. Choose the correct alternative from the following. 1. Assertion A. Tissue is a group of dissimilar cells and reason is muscle is made up of muscle cell. So we have seen both assertion and reasons are the rightly stated. Therefore, answer A, choice A is the right answer. That is both A and R are true. Now coming to question 2. Assertion. Majority of cells cannot be seen directly with naked eye because reason is cells are microscopic in nature. Therefore, assertion and reason in this case also true. Therefore, choice A, both A and R are true is the right answer. Coming to question 7, very short answer. 1. What are the functions of cell wall in a plant cell? Functions of the cell wall in plant cell include protection, maintenance of shape of cell and acting as protective framework. 2. Which organelle uses energy from sunlight to make starch? So we have seen in the lesson that it is the chloroplast that uses energy from sunlight to make starch. So the answer is chloroplast uses energy from sunlight to make starch. Question 3. What are the main things in a nucleus? There are three main things in the nucleus which are named as nuclear envelope, nucleolus and chromatin body. Question 4. What does cell membrane do? Cell membrane acts as boundary of cell and protects it. So it is in case of both plants and animals, cell membrane are present and they uh, protect the cells. Why lysosomes are known as scavengers of the cell? Lysosomes are the main digestive compartments of a cell and digest damaged cell parts. Therefore, they are called scavengers of the cell. Coming to question 6, teacher said a virus is not an organism. Do you agree with this statement or not? And explain why. I agree with the statement. A virus only acts as a living organism within the body of a host but behaves like a non-living thing outside the host. It lacks cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm and organelles which are characteristics of a living organism. Hence, it is not considered as an organism is the answer. Now coming to question 8, give short answer. Why the cell is very important for us? Cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. It is a building unit of any living organism. A group of cells form a tissue which in turn forms an organ and organ in terms form themselves into organ systems. This helps a living organism to carry out the various functions of an organism. Therefore, cell is very important for us. Now, question, now coming to question 2, distinguish between the following pairs. And there are three pairs given, uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. The differences between these are smooth ER. It is smooth due to the absence of ribosomes, whereas a rough endosplasmic reticulum, it is rough due to the presence of ribosomes. ER, smooth ER helps in transport of steroids and lipids, whereas rough ER helps in protein synthesis in a cell. Coming to cell wall and cell membrane, the differences between cell wall and cell membrane is a cell wall is seen only in plant cells, whereas cell membrane is seen in plant and animal cells. Cell wall is made up of cellulose, whereas cell membrane is made up of proteins and lipids. Coming to chloroplast and mitochondria, the differences are chloroplast is an organelle seen only in green plant cells, whereas mitochondria is an organelle seen in plant as well as in animal cells. Chloroplast helps in synthesis and storage of starch, whereas mitochondria is the center of respiration in a cell and produces three. Write correct sequence from cell to organism. Many cells function together to form tissues and different tissues combine together form an organ and different organs to form an organ system which leads to form an organism. Therefore, the correct sequence from cell to organism is 
cells followed by tissues followed by organs followed by organ systems and followed by organism in the end question 4 write a start short note on characteristics now let us see the characteristics of nucleus one nucleus is seen in the cytoplasm of plant and animal cells two it is surrounded by nuclear envelope three it is one or two nucleoli and chromatin body four the chromatin body stores the genetic information of an organism what are the functions of nucleus nucleus controls all the process and chemical reactions that take place inside the cell it determines the inheritance of character from one generation to the another so nucleus is a very important actually part of a cell classify the following terms into cells tissues organs and write in the table column so they are given certain number of we have to divide them into the cell tissue or organ so of the examples given we see the neuron red blood corpuscles or rbc white plus blood corpuscles or wbc ovum these are all examples or parts of cell and tissue xylem adipose muscle squamous phloem and cartilage are examples of tissue whereas lungs brain leaf hand heart these are all examples or on the lines given below write about what you have learned from the activities done in this lesson let me tell you about some of the important things i have learned about cells first i will start with cell is the basic unit of an organism that must be the first point then two organisms can be classified as unicellular or multicellular on the basis of number of cells so the number of cells present in an organism determine whether it is a unicellular organism or multicellular organism the cells form tissues tissues form organs organs form organ systems which help an organism to function the cell wall is seen only in plant cells the animal cells lack cell wall and contain only cell membrane the organelles of the cell are chloroplast mitochondria ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum so of this chloroplast is only found in the plant cells now question 9 give long answer write about any three organelles in detail the three organelles in a cell are described as follows first i have explained what chloroplast chloroplast are green organelles seen in plant cells only they can prepare food using sunlight and photosynthesis since they contain the pigment chlorophyll they absorb the radiant energy of the sun and convert it into a chemical energy to be used by plants and animals now next golgi complex golgi complex are cell organelles which consists of membrane bound sacs stacked in on top of one another and have associated secretory vesicles golgi complex helps in production of secretory substances packaging and secretion now coming to mitochondria mitochondria is a double membrane bounded organelle as aerobic respiration occurs in mitochondria and energy is released it is called as the power house of the cell the energy produced is used for metabolic activities of the cell question 2 in a situation how to explain while well, your friend asks what is this never seen before here is a, a picture of an animal cell and all the parts of the animal cell have been properly marked so you can explain this way what is seen in the picture is an animal cell an animal cell is the basic unit of an animal body animal cell lacks cell wall and what you see here it is a cell membrane it is organelles like mitochondria which have been labeled properly golgi apparatus ribosomes lysosome etc all these parts have been properly marked in this picture animal cell differs from plant cell since it lacks chloroplast it has centrioles which are not seen in plant cells nucleus serves as the controlling center of the cell so that's the correct answer now question 3 compare the plant cell and animal cell and complete the illustration given below so there are three uh, ovals or circles what are we called so they have been labeled as animal cell nucleus and plant cell that pink one is an animal cell nucleus is given in yellow color and plant cell is given in green color now what are the different parts that are uh, present in animal cell are centrioles 
small vacuole and plasma membrane. In case of nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum and ribosome are present. And in plant cells, you see cell wall, chloroplast and large vacuole. Now coming to higher order thinking question, which is the last question in this session. Virus is called acellular. Why? Acellular means without cell. Virus is made up of an outer protein coat and a nucleic acid. Virus lacks cell wall, cell membrane, organelles and cytoplasm which are the characteristics of a cellular organism. For the above reasons, we call a virus as a acellular and that brings us to the end of the session and I hope that you have understood all the answers correctly and I am sure that you like the video. So if you like the video, please share with your friends and if you are not subscribed to this Schoolless YouTube channel, do subscribe. Thank you.